having me. So um, as Lauren mentioned, I'm Gumita. I'm a staff attorney at the Reporters Committee for Freedom of the Press. Uh, we take a wide definition of news media at RCFP. So that of course includes documentary filmmakers, really anyone in the business of acquiring and then disseminating information to a broader audience. So please know that our resources are for all of you and your friends and colleagues. Um, I love FOIA and public records. I feel like to understand the power of public records, I think if we hit the next button one more time, a couple of things might pop up at the top. Okay, perfect. Um, to understand, thank you. To, to understand what FOIA and state public records laws can be used for, we really need to look no further than the headlines that surround us when we read the news. But also I included some documentary films here too to really drive the point home that FOIA is for everyone, including documentary filmmakers. Um, 1971, I feel like is such a seminal example because the filmmakers used FOIA to put the puzzle pieces together to understand the full extent of FBI surveillance into First Amendment protected activities by those protesting the war in Vietnam. And the animal people is one really close to my heart. A lot of my friends are actually featured in this and it details FBI surveillance of animal rights activists also once again engaging in entirely um, First Amendment protected activity. So if all of this sounds exciting to you, then we want to dive into the basics of how to approach using these public records laws. So I think a lot of this is self-explanatory, but we're going to double click on just a few of those, which, which you know, entail a bit more nuance. Um, but you really want to familiarize yourself with the statute at issue. So for the federal FOIA, we've got a resource called the FOIA Wiki. That's FOIA.wiki which will be your North Star throughout the FOIA process. Me and my colleagues at the Reporters Committee are regularly updating it essentially on a weekly basis when there's new case law, uh, you know, interpreting the federal FOIA and its contours. And so clients at the Reporters Committee, Codebreaker Films, they produced a phenomenal documentary called United States versus Reality Winner. And I forgot to put a slide with the, the poster, but make sure you make a mental note because it's one of the most remarkable documentaries I've ever seen. And my colleague, Adam Marshall, we had the great honor of suing the FBI, which is literally my favorite thing to do, <laughs> and getting audio footage of the FBI's interrogation of whistleblower reality winner, who was a contractor with an intelligence agency. And in the course of her job came across definitive proof of Russian interference in the 2016 election. And getting that audio footage was, of course, so crucial for the documentary film because hearing that conversation for yourself, you know, you're able to develop empathy for this young woman. I think she was 24 years old or couldn't have been more than, than 25 when these FBI agents are interrogating her, manipulating her, coercing her. And if you're able to hear it for yourself, I mean, you don't need to, I'm just a lawyer. Y'all are the artists and the filmmakers. You understand the importance of, of using that footage to weave that story together. Um, really remarkable case where the judge in the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia really threw the hammer down on the FBI and said, these filmmakers, their premiere at, at South by Southwest is in two weeks. So you have two weeks to get them that footage. I mean, it was just, it was remarkable. <laughs> it's amazing, yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, if, if the federal judge ordered them to, I mean, thank goodness she really laid down the law and we were able to get what we needed. That, of course, as Lauren is alluding to, is not indicative of the way FOIA litigation often works, right? Delays are just such an endemic part of this process, unfortunately. And if any of you have individual situations you're going through where you just can't get a response from the agency, feel free to talk to me afterward and, and we can figure out how to move things along, hopefully.